Good morning. This is October the 17th. We're in Isaiah 50, 59, verse 16. No one to intercede. It says the Lord looked, and there was no one to intercede. You know, there, there are people on this earth, you'll say, well, I'm old, I can't work, I all, you know, I'm, but you can pray. And when God puts somebody's name or somebody upon your heart, why do you think that's happening? Well, I remember old Joe from way back in high school days. Do you reckon God, by the Holy Spirit, is putting someone, on, Joe, on your mind today to pray for that person, that he may be in conflict? Or how about someone that the Lord might give you across the world that is a missionary somewhere? You know, it's been proven over and over and over that there would be missionaries on the mission field and, and the, the enemy would try to kill them through witch doctors and sickness and disease and they would be trying to do the work of the Lord and someone, someplace way off, thousands of miles from there, the Lord would lay that person upon their heart and they would intercede for them and pray with them. Now you've heard people say until the burden's lifted or they pray through or until the peace of God rules over. But whatever it is, but you would continue to pray for that person until Christ Galatians 4.19 till Christ the anointing be formed in them till the power of God be formed in them so today as you've jumped out of bed and you're thinking about this who is the Lord God on my heart who is he taking me to today you know there's an interesting story I read about an old time saint he says he would get up in the morning and he'd say Father who do you want me to go who needs you the most today I like the expression Jesus where are you fishing what pond are you fishing in today who are you ministering to? Lord, can I be part of it? So as we are interceding for somebody, in other words, we're lifting this person up into the throne room. In, the, in Hebrews 4.16, we're going joyfully and powerfully into the throne room, knowing that the perfect will of God is for this person to be well, to be okay, and for all the salvation of the Lord to be upon them. And we just enter into the course with praise and thanksgiving, thanking God for the intercession that He's allowed us to do. Let me tell you, a life without prayer is a life without power. You know, if you don't have any gas in your tank, you better put some gas in, and it's called petrol power by the presence of the Spirit. As He comes in, there's an explosion within your spirit, and you realize that through your prayer that someone is being healed, being delivered, being brought forth, and things are happening here on this earth, and you begin to see and to know that God has a plan. And he's working his plan through his people because he chooses to use his people. That's the reason he set forth himself inside of us to live and operate as God's children in Jesus' name.